Mexican mobster Joaquin El Chapo Guzman was found guilty Tuesday by a New York jury of crimes spanning a quarter of a century as head of one of the world's most powerful drug gangs. The 61-year-old former head of the Sinaloa cartel firm for his brazen escapes from Mexican prisons faces a possible life sentence after facing 10 counts of convictions, including international smuggling, tons of narcotics, money laundering and illegal weapons possession. In a three-month trial that saw more than 50 witness accounts unfold like a real-life telenovela, Guzman's former beauty queen wife and a parade of his lovers and henchmen took the witness stance under the gaze of the one-time drugs kingpin. The trial of El Chapo has provided shocking revelations about the Mexican drug lord's life, most of which we cannot even say here. In one instance, burying his victims alive or setting their slain remains on fire. Guzman achieved notoriety for twice escaping custody in Mexico as well as avoiding arrest on numerous other occasions. In sum, the jury found that Guzman led the Sinaloa cartel, one of the largest and most dangerous drug cartels in the world, and that he is responsible for violence, including murders, and the smuggling of massive amounts of narcotics into the United States over a period of decades. This conviction, we expect, will bring a sentence of life without the possibility of parole. El Chapo will be sentenced at the end of June and sent to Supermax prison, where he may be spending the rest of his life.